What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Today, we are doing our tour of my third to last uh, park build. Today, we are on Sorna 1993. Uh, this is my park I built here. Here, I did an in-gen uh, dinosaur research facility, basically, like a Site B factory floor sort of deal. Um, I think it turned out really cool. So, we're going to go around and uh, check it out. And I'm going to show you guys what I did. So, this basically for this park, the, one of the things I wanted to do was um, I wanted to make it so I have like each of the three divisions from the base game kind of represented at some point on, in the park. So, um, entertainment, science, and security. Uh, so, the, for this first section, I have the entertainment division represented. So, obviously, I wanted to include like the science center the security center but the innovation center would be way too big and there's just not room and it kind of wouldn't fit with the park very well so um instead of that i went with the research center as kind of my makeshift entertainment facility building sort of thing um yeah so i i put that in the science center over here kind of in this little area i'm not su i'm not sure if i like how this looks but i think it's decent it works well enough Close up, it looks actually pretty nice. So, I'm happy with it. Also, the park isn't really about design. It's more about just having all the correct facilities that I need. So, um, here then, I have my main exhibit for the entertainment division. Which, this area is meant to do research on cosmetic genes. So, I have a carnivore and an herbivore species, each of which I have made... A couple of different skins. I picked one of each that has some of the more interesting skins that I can think of. So for herbivores, I did the Dryosaurus. So over here, I have the default. Yes, default. I believe this is woodland, and then this is arid. So I have that on one side, and then I also have on the other side Herrerasaurus for my carnivores. Um, this is coastal, this is, I think, woodland, and then I have a default. Uh, right here. And of course I have observing points on both ends. That's pretty neat. And I also have an aviary here. Which seems like the kind of thing they want to do. They want to test out how flying reptiles work. If they would be a good idea for the park. Um, and so I have that here. And here I did a little bit of design work. I put like a little lake in front of it. The story I guess is that it's like a natural lake. It's not just here for show. And they built the path around it. But it still looks pretty nice I'd say. Um... But then over here we have our pteranodons, of course. A full aviary with six uh, pteranodons. There they are. So that's pretty cool. Then from there, I decided to work on the science section next. So over here... My gosh, frames. Good lord, frames. Um, over here we have our science section. Of course, the science center was up above. But down here we have a section for paleobotany research. So... I have a greenhouse, which I've barely used since it came out. And I wanted a chance to use it again, because it's a pretty cool building, I'd say. And here we have a nice assortment of different kinds of dinosaurs. And I've managed to pick out plants for them that will actually uh, suit all of them. So I have some pentaceratopses. They're pretty cool looking. Um, I have some immonosauruses up here. They're neat. So we got ceratopsids, hadrosaurs. We have some ornithomimids in the form of gallimimus. Um, another pentaceratops over there. And then, of course, we have um, the diplodocus, which I've barely used as well. So I picked out plants that will suit all of them, and I think it turned out pretty cool. It's neat looking. It's not as scenic as the, the uh, aviary up there, but I still got a nice little lake and the greenhouse has a nice little look to it as well. So I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Uh, and then we continue up the hill here. And we come to our ecosystem research area. And so I kind of had the same sort of thing on the hybrid research facility where I had all the herbivore hybrids um, all in one big enclosure with also their, their counterparts or their little... The dinosaurs that made them up, basically. Um, 
all kind of living in one big giant exhibit. That's kind of what I have over here. But before I get to that, here I have an area for researching aquatic carnivores. So I decided to go with some Suchomimus here um, as my, di my dinosaurs to research on. I didn't want to use any hybrids, and I feel like I use Baryonyx and Spinosaurus a lot anyway. So um, here's Suchomimus. Um, and then over here we have the big one, the big, huge ecosystem exhibit where it's a ton of different types of dinosaurs all living in harmony together in one big enclosure. So we have Iguanodons here, we have um, Stegosaurus over here, we have somewhere, we have Allosaurus, there's a couple of them wandering around. Here we have two Allosauruses and a couple of Dreadnoughtuses as well. Oh, I think we also, don't we have Draco Rex? I think we do. Somewhere. They're in, they're in here somewhere. Fairly certain, unless I'm delusional. Totally possible. I am quite dumb, so. Certainly possible. Didn't I use, oh yes I did, I did. I knew it. I knew it. There he is. He's pretty. I like him. Anyway. Moving on, uh, that's it for the science section. So now we have security on the other end of the park. Um, basically for security, I wanted to have it so they're basically testing their uh, fences and stuff against various uh, types of aggressive dinosaurs. So we have um, one small carnivore species, an, a medium carnivore species, and a large carnivore species. So for the small carnivores, I use the electrified steel fences, and we have... Uh, Dilophosaurus is in here. Um, hello? Hello? There you are. We got a couple of Dilophosaurus in here. I think three, if I'm correct. Yep, three. So we got that. Of course, we have our security shelter. That makes sense to have in this area. Oh, yeah, the... Oh, never mind. Hang on. I'll get back to it. Um, and then we have Majungasaurus over here for our medium-sized carnivores. Got a nice little pair of them. They're pretty cool looking, I'd say. And then if we head up the hill on this side, we come to our large carnivore. Oh yeah, for the, so for the small carnivore, I use the electrified steel. For the medium, I used just regular concrete wall. Oops. And then for here, for the big one, I used electrified concrete. Um... So we have a nice little pond here just for this, this scenic effect, you know. Got to make it look nice and interesting somehow. We have a security shelter here. That's what I was going to say before. And then um, here we have our exhibit. So for the big carnivore, I went with the uh, Giganotosaurus, or the Giga. Where is he? I think I saw him sleeping a second ago. There he is. Hey, friend. And he's awesome. I love the Giga so much. He's just massive. And he looks pretty sick. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it for the park. I mean, up here, it just loops back around to the starting area. Where I also have a, a ranger station to help the people get around better. So, that's that. And so this was a pretty neat park to do. It was kind of... It was an interesting one. I like this island a lot, actually. Um... People do not use it enough, which is a shame because I think it's pretty sick, um, the way it's all laid out. And so, yeah, there you go. There's my uh, Sword of 1993 park. Um, stay tuned for the next episode where I'm going to be starting my park on Nublar North. I'm going to be doing a safari park with the... Um, I actually decided I'm going to do it with the Jurassic Park era park tour. Um which is going to be pretty cool, I think. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have it go around different exhibits with different environments. That's the, the goal. And basically, I'm going to have dinosaurs that fit the environment and that represent different animals that would live in that environment. So, like, I'll have a dinosaur representing, like, a bear or a lion or something, you know? Dinosaurs that kind of fit in with the environment and kind of correspond to modern-day animals, so... I think it's a neat idea, and I can't wait to get started with it next time. So, if you're excited for that, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like down below. Also, comment on the video and subscribe and hit the bell. 
so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. But that's all I got for you guys in this episode. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, toodaloo. <laughs>